What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lala, a.k.a. Lachelle, a.k.a. Shell, a.k.a. Michelle, my bell. And this will be my last Second Life video. Um, I don't know if it's forever. It feels like forever, if I'm being honest. Um, but even if it's temporary, it's still going to be for a long time. So I hope this video finds y'all in good spirits. I don't feel the need to be before y'all long. Um, I have re-recorded this, no cap, like 10 times because I want to get my message out clear um, because I'm not having this conversation individually with anyone. But I didn't want anybody to try to take my experience and try to use it as a way to like get attention or start a beef. So I'm just going to keep this as simple and generic as possible. I have lost my love for Second Life. And the last time this happened, I was gone for almost five years. Um... <laughs> one way to sum it up somebody did a tiktok video on it um she was like tiktok used to be a place where we come have fun but then a bunch of other people came over from other platforms and turned it into the same drama and mess that was on those platforms and personally that's what i feel like happened on second life for those of you who don't know um, this will be new to you. For those of you who do, it'll be a refresher. I had a bunch of RL things go on over the last probably month or so. And I went through a spell where it's like, I just couldn't get on SL. I was sick and stuff like that. And y'all, I did not miss second life at all. And normally at a minimum, when I miss second life, I miss the people, even if I don't miss necessarily a lot of the platforms within second life, I miss the people. I did not miss a thing. <laughs> I did not. It felt like a vacation. And whenever something that's usually fun um, <laughs> feels like you need a vacation from it, you should probably leave it alone. I feel like a lot of people from different platforms have came over to Second Life. I won't be specific. Um, a lot of people from different platforms have came over to Second Life and turned it into the same mess, drama, clout chasing that was on those platforms. And I'm saying it with my whole chest. I literally had somebody from one of the platforms admit she had been ran off the platform. <laughs> and that's why she came to Second Life. And best believe all of the same stuff she told me she was ran off of that platform for. She came over to Second Life and did. So lesson was not learned with that one. <laughs> but it's just validating in my opinion, how I felt. Um, I'm not saying Second Life was perfect. I'm not saying Second Life didn't have drama, didn't have mess. It didn't have as much. <laughs> and it wasn't this kind, right? Um, Second Life is a place where you log on, you have fun, you get creative, you explore. You know, if there are people who have certain limitations in real life where they can't do certain things or be around certain people, they come to Second Life to do it. And I feel like we lost sight of that. Second Life has turned into this clout chase, uh, doxing, messy, attention-seeking toxic platform in a lot of ways and one thing i'm definitely going to do is take accountability because i'm not saying all of second life is like that but i'm saying so far everywhere i have went has been like that and we all might be like shell you the common denominator yep that's why i'm removing myself right um I don't know what it is. I know every audience on Second Life is not the same, but I can't find the other side. <laughs> I can't find the side of SL that has the people who moved the way it did when I first came on, when I loved it, right? Um, and this isn't, it wasn't just this event in real life that made me want to leave Second Life. I've been feeling this way for months. Um, there are probably like two or three people that I talk to often or talk to more commonly than other people. I wouldn't say often, but people I talk to more commonly than other people. And I have been like, yo, I'm ready to go. <laughs> like my spirit has been over second life for months. I just keep trying. I start new projects and it's just not working for me. Um, then I got to a point where I was like, okay, if I don't do anything else, I'll at least log on to second life for content, right? To make content. People still stealing my content. <laughs> People, people not supporting me, but they're copying the stuff I do. So like people won't like and share my video or comment on it, but I will see them incorporate 
stuff from my videos into their role play and you best believe they're never going to mention me and that's fine right maybe it's life and i can't control any of those things but what i can control is whether or not i log on <laughs> that's the greatest thing right and i feel like there are a lot of people and i don't know if this is just people from the other platform or in general i feel like there are a lot of people on second life who should be seeking professional help with a lot of things, but instead they come and take it out on the people of Second Life. Um, there are a lot of, it's a lot. It's just a lot, guys, it is. And from people trying to manipulate and guilt trip me for being honest to people who are literally trying to use me. Like I have people who have my personal contact information but the most they communicate with me is in places that they can be seen. So you'll see them in like my video comments or on my Facebook comments or something like that, especially if other people are acknowledging me, but they don't talk to me privately. Like we're literally just, it's like public besties. Like in public, you would think we were besties, but in private, they really don't give a flip about me, which is fine, right? Um, I've withdrawn myself from a lot of people and situations because I feel like a lot of things are unequally yoked. And my biggest, my biggest downfall when it comes to second life is I feel like I put too much into things and people that I don't get a return on. And one of my biggest toxic traits, I'm going to say this here, I'm going to say it right now. My problem is instead of telling people like, hey, I feel like you're using me a little bit. Um, I feel like you're being a little manipulative. I'm the type of person where if a person is doing a little bit, I basically like throw them a parade, right? That positive reinforcement. That's what it's called. Positive reinforcement. Because I feel like if I make them feel like they're on top of the world, every time they do a little bit for me, maybe that will encourage them to do more. But it really doesn't. In fact, I think it breeds a certain level of arrogance because now they're convinced that this they're this dope, amazing person to me when really they barely check on me or... um they only cool with me when other people are cool with me in front of them. Um, and it's just a lot like y'all, I'm a person. So that stuff bothers me. You know what I mean? I got people who will talk to me when they're bored, <laughs> but not when they're free. I'm going to say that again. I got people who will talk to me when they're bored, but not when they're free. So when they're free and the people that they really want to kick it with are available, I won't hear from them. But when they're bored, or they done fell out with people, then it's like, oh, hey, girl, what's up, right? And I just don't like that. And I know that the same people that are on SL are in RL because I say this to y'all myself, so I won't be a hypocrite. But again, the huge difference between SL and RL, RL, yes, I can decide who I'm around to a certain extent and where I go, but... I have even more control over my SL. So instead of constantly making videos telling y'all like, hey, I wish people treat me better. I wish this wasn't going on. I wish, you know, because a lot of people are about words in SL. They want to look like the good guy. People want this good guy label so bad, but they don't want to do any of the background work. They just want to look like the good guy. So, you know, you post, you have a death in the family. They act like they're the most supportive person in the world. Bro, you'll barely hear from them people privately. Like publicly, they post in GIFs, uh, <laughs> they hitting every, every time you post something, they hitting a the comment, but they won't, they don't check on you <laughs> outside of that. So it's just, I'm over it. Right. Um, and I'm like that with social media. When people being fake with me on social media, I'll take a break because I'm a person who's genuine in what I do. And again, I feel like I am the, or I'm the author of my own demise because there have been a lot of people in my life, second life, especially that have half stepped. They've half stepped as friends. They've half stepped as family. They've half stepped as partners, just whatever label it is. I, like nobody's exempt. I'm being honest. Like I've had so many people half step in my second life. But like I said, I try to do that positive reinforcement so that you're motivated to do more, <laughs> you know, to do more overall and i think it like i said creates a sense of arrogance because now it's like yeah i'm the best friend in the world i don't need to improve anything and it's like you're not or i'm the best cousin i'm the best boyfriend i'm the best husband i'm the best girlfriend i'm the best wife like 
I feel like when you do things like that, it breeds a certain level of arrogance. It doesn't it doesn't tell them, hey, this person really appreciates me, which is the intent. It doesn't tell them, hey, this person really appreciates me. Let me keep doing those things. It tells them there's no room for improvement because they've already told me I'm the bomb dot com. So I'm just taking a break. I'm taking accountability. I am 100 percent responsible for who is in my life, who I'm around. Um, I take that. I'm, I'm eating that. I promise y'all chin up, chest out. I'm eating it. But I do have the control over whether or not I'm on the platform and I just choose no longer to be. I'm going to continue to push out content on my page 100%. But if you're somebody who is here for Second Life content, I'm going to tell you right now, you probably won't see it again. Or if you see it, it won't be for a long time. I told y'all the last time I felt like this, I was gone for like four years. So... I don't know if it takes SL. <laughs> I don't know how we gonna get SL back to the old SL. Like I love a lot of the Second Life evolution, but a lot of the drama and the clout chasing that's been brought over here. It's like people couldn't get their fame and fortune on other platforms. So they ran to Second Life trying to build the super team, the super entourage or the super family so that they could just be the center of attention. And it's just... <sighs> I'm straight on that. <laughs> like, I'm good on that. Y'all even going as far as making fun of what people avatar look like. Y'all really be trying to bully and shame people because of what their AV looks like. But it's like, turn on your camera then. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm not trying to look shame anybody. But if you're going to have a nerve to try to talk about somebody because of an avatar, I hope you better be looking like that avatar behind the camera. Okay. So, like I said, y'all, I'm still going to be putting up tons of gaming content on my page. Just not Second Life stuff anymore. Unless I find something in, like, the archives. Because I'm not even going to hold y'all. <laughs> I have a bunch of vlog footage I never released. Because I just... That's that's how I know I'm done with it. When I have all of those um, creative instruments that I don't even want to use. I have I can put out a couple, of, maybe three or four vlogs if I wanted to. I be some of it I've saved on my hard drive. Other stuff I've just deleted. That's how I know I'm done. I don't even want to use it for the creativity aspect. That's how I know I'm done. Right? So I love y'all so much who have been supportive of me. I have met some great people in world. Um I know I, I've mentioned the fake people earlier in the video, but I have met a few great people who I'm going to try to find a way to keep in touch with y'all, but I don't want to be on the grid anymore. <laughs> like, I just don't. So I love y'all. Thank you for those who have supported the content. If you are here for Second Life only, and you like, well, show I'm finna dip then. It was nice knowing you. I appreciate you. For everyone else, I'll be doing more streaming. I'll probably do most of my streaming on Kick and Twitch, though, because... Um, YouTube is too restrictive. Like you fart on YouTube and they be trying to take your whole page down. So I'll do my streaming on kick and Twitch. Also TikTok because my RL TikTok is, um, I can stream on TikTok. I might post the information. I might just leave it be. I don't know, but I will be posting gaming content is what I'm telling y'all. And since I reached a point where I feel like I'm rambling, I'm just going to close it out. I love y'all to life. I love you for free. And whether I'm on the grid or not, if you weren't here tomorrow, I would miss you. Peace, family.